don't ask, you don't get lazy. How Twitter can just make something such as this is a big joke. We can submit a nude seconds before deadline. Boy! <laughs> Trust me, all of us can do anything in this life. <laughs> Congratulations, Boss of 22! <laughs> My nephews are currently using my iPad, so if you hear any noise in the background, it's just them playing their games. But I wanted to show you real quick um, the orders that I made. I ordered some shoes on Black Friday and they came today and I wanted them to come two days ago. But it's cool because they're paying, so I want to show you those. And I also got an order from GDS Brands, I'm going to show you guys that. I'm going to fast forward it because they're being loud. But I just thought I'd do a little intro. Okay, you can talk now. See, I told you, it's like two minutes. Part of building trust from a distance I think we should rule out commitment for now Cause we're falling apart You're just doing that to get even Don't pick up the pieces, just leave it for now You can fall in the park Passionate from miles away Passive with the things you say Passing up on my own way There's another house across the road. Literally, right across the road. So cute. She's somebody all around me. I look like I'm the man. Yeah, but I was down in the light past me. Tell me where have you been? I'm out of hiding, girl Don't make a pick on your man You're just a fan You don't hold me Come to London Bridge to go home um, There's the shard in the background And my trains are coming for half an hour So I remember that I used to, I did a, like a work experience around here 
um, and I used to take this route, the route that I'm walking now, to go to the working spirit. So I thought, okay, let me just go and like walk back there and see what it's like. It's literally five minutes from the station, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna miss the train. It was literally right next to Tower Bridge. This is, yeah, that's nice Tower Bridge. So I'll show you the view in a sec, but it's just so pink, and there's so many like pink areas, and all the Christmas lights are up. So I'm just gonna waste 30 minutes, I guess. <laughs> Phone. Hey. Connect your phone. Hey. So I'm vlogging. I don't like, I don't hmm? like it when I'm vlogging. Are you gonna send this pill to people? Yeah. No, man. <laughs> mm -mm. This boyfriend might track me down. <laughs> Thank 
17th of December I have not been on the vlog for I mean I, I showed you guys me in Winter Wonderland I'm pretty sure I must have put those clips in but I haven't really been vlogging as much this month I feel like um it's just been a really busy month so every time that I go out I've been vlogging but I haven't done as many like sit down like I'm in my room just talking vlogs so I definitely wanted to bring you guys one of those so basically <laughs> I decided to cut my braids um they were I could feel them pulling my hair like even these ones at the back they've already slipped really far down my head I don't know if you see I've only had these for what two and a half weeks and it's already slipped down that far usually it doesn't do that for me and I think it's just because the braids are really heavy and really long they're a bit look they're a bit wider than I usually do when I lay my edges I can see a massive difference in the thickness of them as I've said before like I don't have the thickest edges in the world but my edges were thicker than this like I had more than this where is the hair like this should be hair not edge do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's my edge right there. Why is there not hair here? You know, my vision board and like affirmations and planning and journals and stuff like that. I am ready to really step into that journey and that part of my life. I think this year I was kind of like using it and just like, yeah, I know this is gonna help me. And it's such an essential part of your life because it just helps you to understand who you are and why you do things and how to be the best version of yourself and that is what i want to do for the rest of my life i want to be the best version of myself i want to be a nice kind person funny who just spreads love and light like literally that's all i want to do love light and peace oh might be a nice tattoo like over the past couple of days i've just had so many like beautiful experiences talking to people and yeah i just want to dive into it real quick i'm trying i won't make this too long because it's like in the middle of the vlog and i want to put christmas in here as well but i mean my vlogs have been like an hour at this point so <laughs> like a little life update i guess i guess this is a life update i should have should only like a get ready with me life update and this month i have done a lot of reflection i've done a lot of talking with my family with my aunts with my mum, with my dad about what i want to do in the future and how i'm going to do that and um, I love freelancing, but I never actually wanted to freelance full time. <laughs> I, I, I think I might have said that in a video before, but I was lying to myself. I actually wanted to have a full time job. I wanted to have a full time job in an agency, in a specific agency. And I think because of my experience with that, 
job and like what happened i don't know if i'm gonna go into detail but basically i was sold dreams i think i think i was sold dreams and i was holding on to those dreams because every couple of weeks every couple of months the same dream was being sold to me by not only one person other people too just sitting there thinking yeah like i think i think i think this is gonna happen you know and during that time i was so desperate to leave my job and it just was a very confusing time because i wanted to leave so bad i wanted this this new job so bad that i was not prioritizing myself and i also wanted to prove a point that i could do something that a lot of people told me i couldn't do i have quite a big ego <laughs> i'm a leo i'm a leo i have quite a big ego sometimes a lot of time and my ego was getting the best of me honestly like on reflection i can say that at the time i wouldn't have told you this at all but on reflection i can say my ego was getting the best of me i now have had time to sit and think i do love freelancing and i've learned so much freelancing and i'm so grateful for my freelance opportunities i've been applying for some jobs i've been applying for some freelance roles honestly right now i'm just going with the wind and i had an interview the other day and it went really well so i've got my fingers crossed for that but i'm not gonna you know i'm just gonna let be what be <laughs> at this point until i have a contract a written contract that says yes lisa works here i'm not gonna be putting my bets on anything do you get what i'm saying also i have to say i learned so much from that experience so i'm really glad that actually happened to me then rather than now um and i know now what i want i know now where i want to go who i want to be so in a way it sucks but in a way it's it, it, you always learn something you know so i'm just holding on to what i've learned it's the 17th of december today so christmas is next week next weekend um but we don't really like celebrate christmas like the traditional way we don't celebrate christmas on the 25th we're gonna have christmas with the kids on the 28th and that should be really really fun so something to look forward to my hair feels really good at this length I don't love burning the ends, but I had to do it for the perf. Oh my God, there's one that's not been burnt. Ha! I can't even show you guys how I do it. Let me get it. That one must have just slipped through the cracks. I literally felt all of the ends, I thought. But yeah, you literally, you just, I kind of burnt my palm doing this yesterday, but maybe this is not the best idea because I can't actually see what I'm doing fully. But you just burn it. Ooh, and then, it quickly you need to twist and then you have a burnt end i have so many plans for my hair so many plans for my skin so many plans for my life and it feels so good to like be in a space where i feel really aligned with all of that and i feel really blessed to even have the option of choosing what i do with my life you know like some people they don't some people some people don't even have the choice of where they live or what they you know like be grateful for everything that you have in life because life comes at you fast <coughs> changes quickly and omicron is on its way so <laughs> i'm not even going to talk about covid i'm not going to talk about omicron omarion omniscient i'm not going to talk about it i can't i need to live my life i can't remember who i saw say it on twitter but they were like i actually have to live like i can't just live in covid time anymore like i need to actually live my life and that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to live my life so yeah nah. anyway let me get to this haul a little bit this is getting a bit ridiculous like they send so many of these things in there but this one really interested me actually is cbd oil um and it's a brand called trip this is the first brand that i've heard of that's like available in the uk because in the uk um a lot of cbd oils are very hard to access unless you go to like holland and barrett you have to pay like 50 pounds for a bloody local thing of cbd oil so i might actually try this it's got 20 percent off i might try this if i look at the website and it looks really interesting um i don't know why it's called trip my first oh my first trip mm, interesting but yeah if you'd be interested in me like trying this let me know <laughs> i don't know i'm very interested in cbd and the um relaxing effects of it for the beauty boxes this month we've got the same as always glossy box and look fantastic but this month glossy box came in a like metal kind of thing i think this is really good actually because it's so much more useful than these boxes 
Um, but let's go for glossy box first. I'm gonna try and do this really quickly because sometimes I feel like this part of the video really drags. Um, but yeah, so we've got the little magazine thing as always. Got the Super Glow Priming Moisturizer. I have this currently right now. I got this in my Look Fantastic box a couple months ago, I think. I've been liking it so far, but it is really, really glowy. Like it has like glitter in it. Not glitter, like shimmer in it. So if you don't like shimmery moisturizers, you're not gonna like that. This here is a keratin mask concentrate. Oh, I think this is literally just like a keratin hair mask. It looks... smells very strongly of coconut i'm not a massive coconut person um oh we've got a spectrum brush in here i love a good brush if you know me like it's one of my favorite makeup products is brushes that is like a metal thing yeah this is supposed to be like for your highlighter i could see this being like an under eye setting powder oh i have a touch in my face when i haven't washed it but this is really pretty i really like that Oh, so this is a perfume sachet. A perfume sachet. How the f... Okay, I see what they're doing. I just don't know how that's going to work. Like, it might get really messy. But interesting, they're doing sachet perfumes now. Um, and then we also have some under eye patches. I always love some good under eye patches. If you can see, I've been getting some bugs. Oh, we've got some chocolate in here as well. Some lint chocolate lint dark chocolate and then lastly this is actually really nice they've got a face palette la splash moonlight glow face palette okay so we've got two highlighters and then like a blush and a bronzer and you know what that bronzer i don't know why i was trying to like make it sound good that bronzer ain't gonna do sh for me but <laughs> um i will definitely give this a try because the blush actually looks like a really nice color as does the highlighter and this is like a nice little palette okay i'm filling that box let's try look fantastic see what they're saying now oh oh, <laughs> oh. so i think look fantastic has stopped doing the magazine thing which i think it's to save paper so i'm just gonna go through what's in here but we've got a satin sleep mask i've never had a satin I've never had a sleep mask before, so I'm actually really excited to try this. I've always wanted to try a sleep mask. Um, sleep like a queen, wake up as a goddess. I mean, I'm already there. We feel like add to the year. Oh, and then we have a brow razor. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, we have a brow razor kind of thing. I have quite a few of these already. Like, I ordered them on Amazon, but I do shave my face probably like once a month ish i think i've gotten this before the ico an ico highlighter pencil in pearl well that is gonna go straight into my box because maybe that's white af highlight but i mean it's a pretty color for the right skin tone we also got some more eye masks are you trying to tell me something <laughs> Are y'all trying to say y'all tired? I think that's what they're trying to say. Y'all need to fix them bags on your eyes. That's what they're saying. Um, and then we've got the Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser. And I quite like Elemis stuff. Elemis is what you get usually at like spas and stuff, I think. Elemis or is it Clarence? Or is it Clinique? But I feel like I've gotten this at a spa before. Like I've been, this has been used on me at a spa before or something. And then lastly, <laughs> we have this Lottie London blush. It's the ombre blush. I have gotten this before. I must have got it in a glossy box. It's literally the exact same blush. So I'm probably going to give that to somebody. For the box this month, I think I've got repeats in both boxes um but i think i will get more use out of the glossy box this month and now let's go into the zara haul i only got a couple things but i feel like i'm gonna like that this is the first set i saw lydia binga buy these literally these exact two sets and i said i'm buying it because it looks so so good on her and also i've been wanting like more leggings set Kind of things because i just think yeah i just think they're really cute i'm not sure how i feel about this top i just don't know how i feel about it like being like do you see where the shoulder bits are they're like 
way over here. Is it supposed to be like that? Or is it supposed to be like, oh, maybe I just need to adjust it a bit more. It's kind of giving the skins a little bit. Don't you think? Like the, just the skin tightness of it. Um, I need to get back to the gym. I need to get back to the gym because where is she? Where is she? I can't find her. She went on her day, I think. I think she's been on her day for the for the holidays so this is the small extra small slash small um because with zara like if it's a stretchy material go for the smaller size honestly like usually i get a medium but go for the smaller size if it's stretchy because the stretch is really there the more i wear this the more i like it like the more i'm like okay i could wear this i could see myself wearing it the material is like that kind of ribbed material so it's actually very comfortable so yeah, I think the top was 14 99 for the top and the bottoms are 17 99 so I'll show you guys the black set, see hopefully we like that one. So the black set is not long sleeve, I think this is the same cut. I way prefer the black set, it's fitting like so much better. Where is my bum? Oh, she's kind of there. I need to get back in the gym. Anyway, um, yeah, this top feels so much better. Like, I don't know if it's maybe because um, sometimes black dye makes the material tighter or something. I can't remember exactly how it works, but I like this set like a lot. I think I'm gonna wear this tonight. Should I wear this or the brown? I think I might wear the brown tonight. Cause I'm going to see, um, what's it called? Spider-Man, not far from home. No Way Home. I'm going to see No Way Home tonight. Luckily, we were able to get tickets. Um, it was like sold out everywhere the other week, but uh, we were able to get tickets, so I'm really excited. I never thought this could be true. I'm living my life, living without you. Feeling all this happiness. Usually, I'll be a stress. so funny to me um hello hi good morning it is the 20th of december um so you know what i don't want to get distracted from cooking again okay this is going a bit better now let me flip the camera and show you so they look a lot better these are still a little bit i think i have the temperature too high this is the thing with an induction this is the thing with an induction so an induction electric whatever anyway um, I just want to pop up and say like I've just been living my best life and I'm really enjoying it 
and I feel like a lot of ah! Oops. I feel like a lot of my friends are kind of like living their best lives and we're all kind of stepping into that and I just feel really good about life and 2022 but let me not burn these pancakes one sec but yeah basically I've got a new job but I'm not I don't want to get excited yet and I'm just that kind of person where I don't want to get excited because I don't have a contract yet Then I'll be like, hey, yo, y'all, got <laughs> new job. Ow! Ow! Once I've got the contract, I think I'll be able to like really express how I truly feel. But I'm just, I'm just that kind of person where like I just need the contract. Like I need to see it in writing to believe it. Okay? Yeah, but I just feel really blessed right now. Like I've just had like the best time yesterday with my friends. Like I'm sure you saw in the video, the previous clip. Like. We just had the best time. We were literally gallivanting. And if you know me, you know I love to gallivant. I just feel so blessed and grateful. And it's just like in the face of like the world kind of falling apart because that's what it feels like with like COVID and everything. I'm staying safe and still living my life. And I just want to continue to be safe and live my life. And I don't want to burn these pancakes. Update, they're not burnt. <laughs> um, but yeah, I also wanted to say, like, um, I so I've been planning to kind of like vision board, and I just want to do it at the start of I just want to do it at the end of December, like for the start of next year. But I've been preparing myself to do that, and it feels I already feel like a lot more clarity coming in terms of like what I want, and like I think I just want to like reiterate to everyone that the process of planning your life, vision boards, like manifesting things, attracting things. It is a process and never expect like anything. Don't have expectations because I've found that once I remove my expectations of like my life, and I don't mean like remove your expectations in terms of like what you want. I mean, remove the expectations of time because time is a construct in the first place. And we live in a simulation. I'll go more into that in another video, but we live in a simulation. So for you to expect that something's gonna happen for you tomorrow putting that expectation on it can almost remove it because it's like you you have no control of that releasing control and like i didn't realize how much of a control freak i was and i am not a control freak because i feel like that makes it sound bad i just like control i like uniformity i like like even <laughs> the other day i clocked and i've always done this and i knew i did this but i didn't realize that this was a sign of my control Whenever I like eat sweets, after I eat them, I will like fold the paper, like the sweet paper, up into a nice little neat box, <laughs> like a square, and then I'll throw it away. Or I'll put it inside another one, and then I'll fold that one up, and then throw it away. Yeah, I just think it's like, I'm in a very reflective time. Me and my sister had this conversation as well. Let me not burn these pancakes. So yeah, what I'm basically saying is like release control, really try to release control or try to to um, enjoy releasing control because I think as someone who is quite controlling and quite um, like reliant on having control, uh, when you're in scenarios where you don't have any, it can be so like panicky and anxious and just being able to release that, like even ice skating. I get so anxious about ice skating. It's more so the other people in the eyes because some of them are mad. Like, we went to Wonder Wonderland and one lady was enjoying herself, but she was doing a lot and she was spinning on the ice on her back. I said, please do that away from me. Like, I can't control that woman. I can control myself and I can control the fact that I don't want to fall down. I'm not going to fall down and I'm going to ice skate. So I let go of the edge. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for something so little, but I let go of the edge. I say all that to say, find a way to release control in your life. Um, and you might find that on the other side of that, like you have gained control in a way. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, this is the last one I'm gonna come back to. I almost just burped, but I've got that in case. But life is moving so quickly and I just wanna be present. I just wanna be here and enjoy it. And continue to do that with the people I love. Do you know what I mean? Like that's 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 what it's really all about. Where's my neck? That's what it's really all about. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen over the next few weeks, but I'm releasing control and I'm just letting be what be and just like live my best life and that's all I can do and that's what I can just get to do. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get back to these pancakes because I don't want them to burn again. And in this new planner, like it's asking you know, a lot of questions about like, what do I want my life to look like? What does success look like to me? How do, what impact do I want to have on the world? So many like really deep questions and um, I'm actually really enjoying doing it. And um, it feels really good to do, to do this right now. Cause it just, I can feel that it's time for like a reset. It's time to realign and just make sure that I am aligned, you know? Um, so I decided to go on a walk because I was just, I've literally been sitting in silence for like, what, two hours. And for me, that is so long. <laughs> so I'm just going on a walk. I think I'm going to go through the woods today. I put my, um, wood shoes on, which are just like some beat up horachis. But, um, I think I'm going to go through the woods and just take a little route through there. Part of this book, um, this this new planner i'll leave a link to the planner in the description bar but part of the new planner is like a lot of it and a lot of people and a lot of things recently have been telling me to connect to nature again so i'm trying to connect to nature again and be in nature and just be outside go on walks i meditated this morning as well it felt really good so i feel really great like mentally right now i'm in the woods now um i don't know why but I kind of got a bit like anxious when I started. Sorry, I don't know why the angle said. I'm literally like, this is the ghetto. <laughs> ah, I need to actually look where I'm walking. Um, I kind of got a little bit anxious when I started walking in here, but I think that's just because I haven't been in the woods on my own before. Every single time that I've come here, I've been with someone, whether it's my boyfriend, my dad, my sister, my other sister, like just somebody has always been with me. And also it's very muddy so obviously i knew that but i just was not mentally prepared for the mud but it's fine i'm just gonna keep going it is a little bit creepy in here just a tiny bit just because like you're on your own but other than that it's quite peaceful if it wasn't so muddy, I think I would like really enjoy it. We in the car. We rest slow. I haven't done a car chat in a while, guys. But today it just felt right. It's actually Christmas Eve today. Um, but like it doesn't feel like Christmas Eve. Like everyone's been saying this anyway. But yeah, like it's Christmas Eve and i have not wrapped any presents um I ha i'm literally about to see if i can try and find my christmas present for my boyfriend i just do you know what it is i christmas it's like lost it's not excitement because i'm excited for christmas but it's not for me anymore like yes it's for me but I, I i can treat myself at any time of the year i don't need to use christmas as an excuse to treat myself but my hair is an absolute mess like this time my knotless braids they have just gotten so messy so quickly when i had the the um ombre ones not the ombre the colors colorful ones what were they when i had the like blonde ombre they stayed so neat so for so long but this one has just gotten so messy but it's cool like i'm taking it out very very soon anyway right now i need to get petrol i have 21 miles left of this petrol which would be absolutely fine because i literally live around the corner from everything but yeah i need to get petrol i'm gonna go to b and q because i need to get a little bit more pain oh my god that is such a 10 car look at her vaping in her Whoosh. go on sis i'm so hungry i haven't eaten it's actually 11 30 so I'm gonna go to Greg's 
and get um, a ham and cheese. I should probably concentrate while I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thanks, babes. Um, is that black woman? Yeah, it is. I always find that black people let me. I'm gonna go to Tesco as well. I don't wanna be in there for too long. And I keep like seeing online that like Tesco is all pack up right now. And I don't wanna like, you know, I don't like being in Tesco when it's busy, it really jars me. But I need to buy some stuff. I don't know what we're gonna be eating the next couple of days. Um, because as well, I was gonna say this earlier, um, my Christmas is not gonna be that till 25th because it's more for the kids than anything and the kids are not gonna be at our house on Christmas when I say the kids I mean my nieces and nephews and because all of us are like adults we're all grown people like we don't really care about when we actually celebrate Christmas so Christmas day I'm actually gonna spend the day wrapping presents <laughs> and then um on the 28th will be my actual like christmas day when we actually you know have christmas dinner and open presents and just you know enjoy our time as a family so yeah that's the plan um i'm just gonna go and get my greg's there's a new greg's here this little area near my house and um there's also a five guys here now which is just a bit mad but like, i live in an area where you wouldn't think that five guys would be here but there, but there is there's a five guys just coaching <laughs> coaching <laughs> yeah let me get my gregs <laughs> shambles i don't even know it. what the heck um so yeah i went to greg's already i had to just eat my food because i was so hungry like you know you don't realize how hungry you are and while i was in greg's i got the um i think i did get a clip but ham and cheese mm. ham and cheese but it's like vegan ham and cheese I'll tell you now i've been having such cheese cravings like i think it's because i know that i can't have it but i'm like having even more cheese cravings but the service in Starbucks just now was so terrible <laughs> yeah thank you yeah, I got a caramel waffle Car oh my god I got a caramel waffle latte and then then Greg's I got some yum yums because I haven't had yum yums in so long and I was just craving them and I wanted them so I got them <laughs> I'm gonna go to B&Q now I'm getting really frustrated because I've just filmed like the same video twice and both times it cut off and my last task is to go into B&Q now. Literally, I'm in queue. Um, but I just wanted to say like the, the biggest lesson that I've learned over the past two years and over Corona and Omarion and just everything is to just live your life while you can, like live your best life and do what you can and do it safely while you can because during the first lockdown, I put my life on hold um, and I was kind of waiting for, I don't know what, I, I honestly don't know what I was waiting for. I think I was just waiting for it to, for coronavirus to go, but um, I was waiting around a lot and I was waiting for other people. I was waiting for this, that, the other. And this year has especially made me realize like if you want something to happen, you need to take charge with that. Don't wait for anybody else. You do it. You go and find it. You go and live that life that you want to live. Um, so yeah, I think my main like feeling from this year, the past two years from coronavirus is to just live your life as much as you can, as safely as you can. Don't bother nobody, but do what you can to live your best life because at the end of the day, that's why we're here. We're here to live. We're not here to, to wait. We're here to live. I don't know when, I will next when this video will go out it'll probably come out in 2022 this pandemic is not going anywhere at the moment so you've got to make some moves of your own Omar omarion is making his moves he's he's making up a new dance routine every single minute you gotta start making your own routine <laughs> i love how everyone calls it omarion and i actually don't know what is it omnicron omnicrony or something i don't even know what it's called i just call it omarion <laughs> everybody this is what i love this is one thing i love about society is how we could just well it's not even society it's twitter how twitter can just make something such a that's so serious a big joke like it's just so funny to me 
but um yeah i'm gonna go and be in q now and yeah i'm gonna continue to live my best life also i think if everybody had a little bit more peace and love in their life and i know it sounds very but honestly like live peacefully and lead with love i can tell you now like since i've really i've just been reflecting on my life and reflecting a lot of who i want to be and what mark i want to leave and that's what i want to leave i just want to leave love and peace and calmness and serenity and happiness maybe i shouldn't say calmness because i'm quite an energetic person but calmness in terms of comfort comfortability comfort yeah that's not calm but i think you guys get what i'm saying guys just it's about to be a great life that we're about to live i'm watching lydia dingo right now oh it's boxes boxing there guys just sitting here with my nephew he's under the table so you can't see him right now but i'm watching lydia dingo and i just went on instagram and this is engaged oh my god I'm li i literally was like ah like literally as if she's my friend because <laughs> you know sometimes oh okay sometimes when you see vloggers when you watch them a lot they start to feel like they're your friends so congratulations to Lydia Dinga on her engagement so happy for her and her partner do you want to say congratulations do you want to say congratulations bye I don't know about any of you lot, but Christmas was really weird this year. Like, not weird in, like, it was a weird day. Because the day itself was calm. But it's just, like, it's not, it doesn't feel like Christmas. Honestly, it doesn't. It feels, it feels like just, like, another day, you know? And I think a lot of that is because of, like, COVID. And it just feels like everything is unsure again. And, like, for one moment last year, this year, earlier this year, it felt like things, like, not things were going back to normal, but things were steadying out. And then Omarion came and just said, oh! to all of that. But I'm still supposed to have my, like, my actual Christmas on the 28th so fingers crossed that goes through two of my nephews they might not be able to come because of Omarion um but at this point we just have to deal with it and just get as many of the kids together as we possibly can and then the kids that can't come they'll just have to open their present at a later date you're right there mate <coughs> fell over no. he fell over ah. he fell over ah. he fell over he fell over. Hey. Ah. Hey. 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 Hey.